everyone welcome to PRV online tutorial today we are taking the basic bodies block the full scale the tools needed for the drafting of this pattern is the pencil we need the pencil but here for the purpose of this tutorial I'll be using a marker pen for visibility so you can see my markings clearly but while drafting yours I'll advise you to use the pencil then we, uh, we need scissors we need the ruler we need French curve or any other type of curve you have okay so let's get to work then we also need the tape measure my measuring tape okay so on this pattern paper okay on this pattern paper I have this box created okay I let this margin should in case I don't have the edges of my paper to be smooth so this margin is not obligatory if you have the edges of your paper to be smooth you don't need to create this margin but to be on the safer side it's advisable you do this leave space at the side and at the upper and lower part and then create the box okay so the measurement i'm having for this box is the widest circumference among the bust waist and hip so among the three bust waist and hip you're going to choose your widest circumference Okay, here the widest circumference is the hip. Okay, the hip I'm working with is 37 inches. So the widest circumference divided by 2 plus 1 inch dart allowance. Here the hip is 37 divided by 2 is 18.5, then plus 1 inch dart allowance. I have 19.5. So from this place to this place of my box, the width is. 19.5 inches okay so now we locate the midpoint the center of the 19.5 inch so your box divided by two so here is the center okay so this represents my center back and this is my center front okay so let's get to work first we are going to determine all our vertical measurements here on the front block i have my bust point is 10.5 inches that is shoulder to bust shoulder to nipple okay 10.5 inches so from my shoulder line this is my shoulder line and this is my hem line okay so 10.5 inches for my bust point shoulder to nipple my under bust is 14 inches from the shoulder line i'll mark 14 inches and then from the shoulder line i'll mark the waist the waist i'm working the waistline that is shoulder to waist the one i'm working with is 17 inches i'm going to mark it across the same measurement i took i'll take it on this other end too in order to have a straight line so this is my 10.5 this is my 14 and this is my 17 okay so i'm going to mark it across with my straight ruler okay i'm marking it across just to have a straight line on those points okay so this represents my waistline this is my under bust line and then this is my bust line okay so now the hem line represents the hip line for this block okay so let's move to the back block right from the shoulder line i'm going to mark my shoulder to waist that of the back is 15 inches so i'll mark my 15 inches from the shoulder line i'm marking it across so to have a straight line and then i'm going to use my straight ruler to connect the two points horizontally okay then i will label this my waistline okay and then remember the front length that's the shoulder to waist for the front is 17 inches therefore because the back block from shoulder to waist is 15 inches we are going to deduct 15 from 17 so 17 minus 15 inches will give us two inches so from the hemline on back block will come up by two inches therefore the back block is two inches lesser than the front block 
and that will represent our bust dart. So this is two inches from the hemline. The two inches is the difference between the front length and the back length. Okay, so this represents the hemline for my back block. Okay. This is the hemline for my front block and this is the hemline for my back block. Let's move ahead. The next thing to determine is the shoulder measurement. The shoulder I'm working with is 15 inches divided by 2 is then 7.5. So from my center front, I'm marking 7.5 inch. And also from my center back, I'll mark 7.5 inch on the back block. On that point, I'll come down by 1 inch. That is the shoulder slope. So one inch from the shoulder line on our shoulder measurement. Okay, that is the shoulder slope. And then we'll mark the neckline width and depth. The standard for front is three by three, three inches width and three inches depth. And then I'm going to use my curve ruler to connect the two points. On the back block, the standard is 3 by 1, 3 inches for the width and 1 inch for the depth. Okay? And then I'm going to use my curve ruler to connect the two points as well for the for the back block. Okay, so I have both my front and back neckline sorted out. Now we we'll move to the shoulder measurement. Okay, from the shoulder slope, measure the armhole length. The armhole I'm working with here is 7.5. To get your perfect armhole, you can either measure on the body or you divide the bust by 6 plus 1.5 inch and that will give you the armhole length that works perfectly for everybody the bus circumference divided by six plus 1.5 inch so the one i'm working with here is 7.5 okay so i'll mark i'll at that point i'm going to come down by 7.5 inches 7.5 inches on both front and back block in order to have a straight line on this end, from my center front, I'll mark the shoulder measurement that we took at the shoulder line, 7.5, remember? So I'll mark it on this point as well. So this is my 7.5. And from center back as well, I'll mark it 7.5 inches. Okay, so I'll connect this to the shoulder slope. A straight line just to have a straight line that's the essence of my measurement of the shoulder on this point okay let me measure that and be sure okay so i'm connecting this to the shoulder slope so this is my arm all length and then i'll square it across on that point I'm going to square it across. In order to have a straight line, I can decide to measure. Okay, decide to measure from the shoulder line. Remember, we came down by one inch of shoulder slope. So I'll measure 8.5 inches. That is my shoulder slope plus the armhole length. So from the shoulder line, 8.5 inches. So on this center line, I'll measure 8.5 inches. I just want to have a straight line on this end and on the center front i'll measure 8.5 as well just to have a straight line okay 
Also on the center back, I'll measure 8.5 inches from the shoulder line. Then I'll square it across, okay, horizontally. This is my chest line. And then I'll leave it this my chest line, then my chest line, okay. Now we we'll connect the shoulder slope to the end of the neckline width for both front and back block. Connecting the shoulder slope to the neckline width on both front and back blocks. On our armhole length, determine the midpoint of the armhole length. That is the center. The armhole length divided by two. That is what I mean by the midpoint. Okay. So here is the midpoint for this. Now come to the back block as well and locate the midpoint as well. And here I have the midpoint. I have the midpoint. On the midpoint for front block, come in by 0 0.7 inch from the armhole line, okay? 0 0.75 inches. And on the back block, come in by 0 0.5 inch. On that center, on, on that midpoint of the armhole, come in by 0 0.5 inch. Okay, I hope you are following. The measurement of this coming in by 0 0.75 on front block and 0 0.5 inch on back block, you can decide to measure your across front and across back on this point. So you can take your across front measurement on this point and take your across back measurement. But this works perfectly, okay? This 0 0.75 and 0 0.5 works perfectly for everybody, okay? So from that point, make a slant to the shoulder slope and then connect to the chest line with your core ruler like so okay that is the armhole core for the front block and then for the back block we do the same thing that we have done on the front block connect to the shoulder slope and then Use your covula to connect to the chest line, like so. So we have successfully created both our front and back armhole, okay? Now we we'll move to our dart. Now for the dart width, nipple to nipple, that is your bust pan, popularly known as nipple to nipple, okay? So the Bust pan I'm working with is 7 inches divided by 2 is 3.5. So from my on my bust line, I'm going to measure 3.5 inches, 3.5 inches right to the hem line. 3.5 inches. That is my bust pan. Then I'll connect that with a straight ruler. I'll do the same thing on the back block, but I'm going to start that from my chest line. I started the one for my front block on the bust line. But here I'm starting from my chest line. So 3.5 inches from the center back, 3.5 inches down to the hem line of the back block. And then I'll connect that with a straight ruler as well. Now on the waistline, I'll take 0 0.5 inch on both end of the bust pan that we just measured now. 0 0.5 inch is the standard, but not in all cases, okay? In some cases, you can use 0 0.75, 0 .0 0 0.75, 1 inch, but it depends on the body size and shape okay but the standard the basic is 0 0.5 inch so from the chest line 
come down by one inch and from the hemline go up by two inches we are connecting our waist down to the two points one inch before the chest line and two inches before the hem line So I'm connecting my dart. Two inches before the hemline and one inch before the chest line. Okay. So I'm done with the back dart. I'll come to the front block and also take 0 0.5 inch on the waistline on both ends of my boss pan 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and I'm connecting that to two inches before the hem line so from the hem line I came up by two inches and from the boss point come down by one inch and connect the waist that to the two points as well I'm connecting my dart to the one inch before the boss point and two inches before the hem line okay two inches above the hem line one inch below the boss point okay so we are done with connecting our dots come to the back block the bulge that, only, that comes out from the zipper area, we need to remove the bulge. So on the waistline, come in by 0 0.5 inch from center back, okay? Then to indicate where you are to connect that, come to the neckline. From the end of the neckline, we measure to the chest line, okay? From the end of the neckline, we for the back block measure take measurement to the chest line and then divide that measurement into two equal halves that's the point where you are connecting the 0 0.5 inch that we just took on the waist okay so we are connecting it to this point so you take measurement from the end of the neckline depth to the chest line divided by two so this is the point so I'll connect this 0 0.5 inch to that point and then to the hemline. So we have successfully removed that bulge on the zipper area at the center back. Okay. So, now we'll move to our measurements. So, this is going out. I'm cutting this out. Okay, it's no longer part of our measurements. We are taking it out. Now, come to the front block and take measurement of the bust. On the chest line, I'll take the bust circumference divided by 4. That is quarter of the bust circumference. Mine is... 8.75 the bust i'm working with is 35 divided by 4 is 8.75 okay so i'll mark my 8.75 here and then also i'll come to the waist the same measurement i have on the chest line i'm having it on the bust line too so i can just decide to measure the 8.75 also on the bust line then i'll come to the waist and take the waist measurements the waist i'm working with is um, 28 inches divided by four is seven inches okay for the waist plus one inch that allowance remember the one inch we took 0 0.5 a 0 0.5 a that is one inch so i'm going to add it back to it that is one inch plus one inch that allowance. So here is my measurement now. 
I'm going to exhaust everything I have at the hemline in order to have an ease at that point. So I'll connect my measurement, the bust to the waist and then to the hip. Okay, so this is for the front. This is what I have for the front. Then I'll come to the back as well. All my measurements start from this 0 0.5 in that we are taking off the back. Not from exactly the center back now. Remember, we took 0 0.5 from the waistline and connected to this point and also to the hemline. So my measurements start from this line, not from the center back line, okay? Start from this 0 0.5 inch line. Okay, so I'm taking the 8.75 for my bust circumference. Okay, I'm just trying to cross check my measurements. And then on the waist, I'll take the waist measurement of 7 inches, that is 28 divided by 4 plus 1 inch that's allowance and then on the hemline i will exhaust all that i have there so here is my measurement i'm connecting my measurement now and then i'll connect this to the hem line okay so here for the back i have my measurement fixed as well okay make sure at this waist measurement there is no sharp edge so you use your curve ruler to make a curve at this point there should be no sharp edge there so you are going to connect it with your curve you, you shape that end finally 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 remember the two inches difference you know the back block is two inches lesser than the front block so the two inches represent our dart our bust dart okay so we'll come to the bust line here and come down by two inches so that at the side we can have equal length of both front and back block so from my bust line on the side seam i came down by two inches i measured two inches away and then connect it to the bust point like so so this is our bust that this will be going out as well okay so separate the front block from the back block here is the back block and here is the front block and to close our bust that come to the shoulder line locate the midpoint of the shoulder and connect it to the bust point like so and then you slash that line down to the bust point Okay, the midpoint of the shoulder that we are connected to the bust point with a slanted line, slash it apart, and then we close the bust that like so. All right. After closing the bust that you will shape the side. Okay. And then here is our front block. And this is our back block.
place the two side by side like so you can see the sides are now equal and on the hem on the hem at the side you come up by two inches or 1.5 from the hemline on the side and then you mark a curve from the dark line to the two inches or one inch that you have measured let me turn it this way so you can see better okay so you mark a curve line just to shape the side of your block so you come up by two inches or 1.5 inch and make a shape to the that leg okay as you have seen and then we cut out this part okay so here are the front and back blocks for the full scale basic bodies block that will be all for this tutorial thank you for being part of this awesome tutorial if you are new on this channel kindly hit on the subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell in order to get awareness of our newly uploaded videos all right Bye-bye and see you in the next tutorial.